Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to manually publish database project in Team Foundation Server 2013. When I talk about manually publish database project in Team Foundation 2013, uh, it needs to be uh, built before we can manually publish a database or we can publish a database project anyway. It has to be built. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to go ahead and manually build our database project and after the successful build we're going to go ahead and manually publish that database project to our target SQL server so let's go ahead this is uh, my client where I have installed the Visual Studio so we're gonna go ahead and um, fire up Visual Studio alright I do have uh, already um, a database project which we're going to uh, use in this particular demo and that is Tech Brothers demo project so we're gonna go ahead and open that and if you look at the solution right here is Tech Brothers demo and we have all the uh, d um, fun uh, functions uh, database uh, objects store procedures uh, tables user defined uh, types and everything so um, in order to do our uh, manual build let's go ahead and um, uh, go through some of the option I already built this project but uh, uh, d this solution but I'm going to take you to the uh, build definition and uh, walk you through it what I did so this is our uh, uh, Tech Brothers demo DB build definition we're gonna go ahead and click and edit build definition up here is just the name and queue uh, uh, processing is needs to be enabled um, and if you pause that the request queued by users or triggered by the system will be added to the queue but will not start unless build unless the administrator will go ahead and force start that so in this particular demo we need to have it enabled because we don't want to uh, you know add more options um, add more steps for here to do that uh, and uh, up here the trigger when the uh, build is going to be triggered right here is the manual uh, the check-ins will not uh, trigger any new build uh, but if you click on continuous integration right here each check-in you will do in this particular particular uh, solution is going to start the build process but we don't want that since uh, it's going to be auto build and auto publish and if you look at the source sources right here is our tech brother team that's our team project that we're working on uh, build default right here is our drop uh, folder and this is the controller we're using and this is uh, important again the process since we're going to do it um, manually build and manual um, uh, publish up here if you look at the build and go to advance I do not have any arguments right here MS build arguments if you wanted to do it auto pub uh, publish and auto build you need to provide some uh, arguments if you don't know how to do that if you have an assignment that you wanted to to go ahead and do the auto build and auto publish then please watch my video how to auto build and auto publish a, a database project in team foundation server 2013 so we're gonna keep it uh, just a default at this moment so we're gonna go ahead um, after you make any changes go ahead and select on save all and you can close that and up here you have two options if you have run the build already you can go to that particular build and right click and retry that build but uh, if you wanted to do the new definition you're gonna go ahead and click on Q new build which in this case we're gonna go ahead and do that up here uh, build definition this is the same uh, general and information that we just looked at in our um, uh, build definition so controller same parameters if you wanted to change the parameter on the fly you can do it here right here all the parameters that uh, I showed you so we're gonna go ahead and click on Q and it's gonna start the build so we're gonna go ahead and open the build and see what it's doing is gonna take uh, about a minute and after that we're gonna go ahead and manually publish this to our target SQL server alright our build 
is successful, there are some warnings in production server. You do need to look at the warnings and try to resolve those warnings before you go in production. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on uh, Solution Explorer right here. Since the build is already done, build is successful, if this uh, particular uh, solution is not built, it's not going to let you publish that. So make sure that you uh, do go through the build process and build your all the, check in all the changes and do the build and then you can go ahead and right click on that particular uh, uh, solution and click on publish. It's going to open up a publish database wizard for us. Now here's the target database connection. This is the SQL server, whether it's test, dev, or production, you need to give the information. Keep in mind that you need to have appropriate permissions in order to uh, do this successfully. This is, uh, in my case, is Tech Brothers SQL server is the server, and SQL PROD is my uh, SQL server name where I want to publish this database. Um, I do have a uh, use Windows authentication I'm, I'm gonna use that but if you're using Azure Azure does not take it may take now but uh, as far as I know that Azure does not take Windows authentication you need to have a SQL Server authentication provided to it you can uh, um, right now if you click on uh, test connection it's gonna fail because it's gonna tell you that this database does not exist so I cannot verify the connection which is okay with us so what we're gonna do this is brand new database that we're gonna create with which is in our uh, solution so we're gonna go ahead and click OK if you wanted to do the auto uh, publish and auto um, build especially the auto publish you're gonna save this uh, particular file because you need to give that as a parameter in order for um, auto publish to go and connect with your SQL server it will contain all the data connection information but uh, we're done with here we're gonna go ahead if you wanted to change some of your uh, this is going to be your database uh, um, on on the particular target SQL server so if you wanted to change some database settings you can click on advanced and go through these uh, some of the information what you wanted to ignore what you wanted to select what where you want that if if some something that's important to you that needs to be selected and if that's not gonna if that doesn't match it's gonna fail but uh, you have an option to ignore sometimes you wanted to ignore the, the foreign keys sometimes you wanted to ignore the uh, permissions because it's, you're doing it from dev to um, um, you know, uh, dev, dev to test or test to production. So we're gonna go ahead and click on publish. You can you ha also have an option to generate a script. And once the script is generated, you can execute that particular script. Uh, this will give you a chance to look at what this particular publish is gonna do. So you have an option. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And after our publish is completed, what we're going to do is go on our uh, target SQL server and see if this particular database is created on the target SQL server. All right, it says publish is completed, as you can see right here. Publish is completed, and now let's go in our SQL server, which is right here TBS SQL go to the databases and as you can see right now the Tech Brothers database is not there so we're gonna go ahead and refresh and see if Tech Brothers database demo database is there right here so this is how you uh, manually build and manually publish um, database project in Team Foundation 2013 and I hope this video helps